We have more breaking news. A driver has been arrested after a crash last night in Westlake Village that killed two children. CBS 2's Tina Patel is live with the latest on this investigation. It's heartbreaking developments this morning. Tina. It really is. One boy died here at the scene. The other one was taken to the hospital, and we just learned that he also passed away. Now, the sheriff's department is not releasing the ages of those boys or saying whether they are related. But you can see the news of the tragic death has hit this community. Many are coming now to leave flowers. Triumphu Canyon is a popular spot to walk because it's got a great view of the Westlake Village Lake. People love this area because it's an easy to do loops and safe neighborhood. But many pedestrians are wary of drivers who they say don't seem to pay attention to the 45 mile an hour speed zone. I know on this street they, they, they really do speed quite a, quite a bit throughout the day. It's not clear if speeding was a factor in the crash last night that killed two boys. They were in the crosswalk when they were struck. A scooter was still in the middle of the street hours after the crash, and a helmet and pair of rollerblades could be seen on the sidewalk. The crash happened just after 7 p.m. as the sun was starting to set. Some people wonder whether the driver saw the children. When it's dark, it is hard to see people that are out, but the driver should be paying better attention. Investigators arrested a 57 year old driver and charged her with vehicular manslaughter. A white Mercedes with front end damage was towed away about a half mile from the crash scene, but investigators would not confirm whether the driver stopped voluntarily or whether this was a hit and run. People who live nearby hope this crash will be a wake up call for drivers to slow down and for the city to do more to protect pedestrians. I was just telling my friend that there should be a stoplight or something placed here, a stop sign, just to kind of deter people from speeding. I wish they could do more, and this might prompt something. I hope it does, because it is, you know, pretty sad. It is very sad. Now, we are still waiting to hear from investigators the factors involved in this crash, whether the driver was racing, whether she was under the influence. We do know that her bail has been set at $2 million. Investigators are asking anyone who may have witnessed this to come forward. It does not appear that there's any security cameras in this area.